We're here today with Roxanne Stein at Palm Stables in Wellington, Florida. Roxanne is a news anchor in the Palm Beach area at WPTV and also an avid writer. Roxanne, how are you? I'm great. Thank you so much. It's for me a pleasure to be with you because I watch you every day, kind of like you live in my house. Thank you. But um, you've written since you were a kid and now you've had a very successful career in television and now you're a writer again. Can you sort of tell me how you started originally? I begged my dad for a pony. I wanted one so badly, I rode one of his Angus bulls <laughs> on the <laughs> farm. He finally, he bought me a pony when I was five or six, a little paint, with Pinto then, <laughs> but paint, um, poncho, and um, I never stopped riding. I never stopped riding, and back, I'm older, so back in those days, we rode anything we could ride, and um, continued to ride and show. Had a wonderful little quarter horse thoroughbred, just small shows, nothing mm -hmm. big. Uh, and went on, went on to Penn State and proudly rode and represented the, in the Advanced Hunter Equitation Divisions and um, at Penn State on the equestrian team. How did you find riding for an equestrian team in college? It was fun. We had a lot of fun. It was, it was really great camaraderie. Uh, made a lot of friends on other teams at the time. It was really a, a nice experience. I enjoyed it. Well, I know after college your career took you all over the United States. Um, I guess that makes riding really impossible, not just difficult. How was that, those years? I missed it, but I kept telling myself, you know, you make, you give up things, things grow and change, and that was the way it was. And I dealt with it. And I know for my first wedding anniversary, my husband surprised me and took me riding in St. Lucie County on the beach, and I just couldn't believe I was on a horse. And I, I remember the gentleman saying, gosh, you ride every day. And I said, no, I actually haven't ridden for 20 some years. And he said, wow, well, you, you really should be riding. You look like you just, you're an, you just love the animals. and." I thought, well, yeah, but go well, and just left it at that. But then you got transferred down here, and it's a really interesting story if you know Wellington at all. Uh, can you tell us that? <laughs> well, my husband and I live close to the showgrounds, and we would drive up Pearson Road, and he would look and see these big tears because these beautiful horses were going by, these wonderful riders, and I knew I would never ride again. And I said, well, maybe I can just work around them. And w one day, these two guys were coming down beautiful jumpers just beautiful and I, I stopped and I got I said if you two gentlemen if you ever need a groom if you ever need anyone to brush your horses and help take care of them not realizing the caliber of the <laughs> barns and everything out here at the time <laughs> I could certainly help and they were very gracious they oh well that's so lovely of you now you are and I told them they said oh well we know who you are and I said well that's so nice but I really do know how to pick the feet and put the the, the, the hoof dressing on and I, I know all about that so I can clean this all better than anybody you know which I can but <laughs> I just didn't realize and they were very gracious and I said oh thank you so much and that was the end of that, of course. And then I was fortunate enough to begin riding um, over again at Ashland Farms with Ken and Emily Smith. They were so generous and thoughtful and let me come out there and ride through. And a, a, one of my best friends got me out there, who I, was not just somebody I met professionally, and we'd become very close. But then Ken and Emily said, they watched me ride, and they said, yes, you can come out here and ride. And they, I could come in just and ride. And they had horses they would let me ride occasionally, and my friend let me ride her horse. And that was so so nice and they let me take lessons there and it's a private barn so they really gave me part of that life back yeah they were so nice about that and then all of this happened so I can attest to the fact that you can muck the stall as good as anyone <laughs> you're not very groom dependent at all <laughs> no. um, but now that it seems as if your career and your writing have come full circle back in a nice path how does it feel to finally be back in that groove well, I know that it's a really special feeling to be very happy at work and very happy when you're not at work. And I'm very fortunate. I'm one of those people, I love driving to work, even though it's really early in the morning and we have a very uh, limited resources because it's mornings. But um, it's, it's, I love that. And then I come home and I have this. And my husband's noticed a difference. Friends notice a difference in my personality that it, it really is something when you're happy in so many places and I am I'm very and I'm blessed that's a very it, it's a blessing and I guess is it so nice to be able to be so proud of mucking a stall so well <laughs> I think it is <laughs> <laughs> so um, and now be they came together with Palm Stables and Bamboo that's how it all really gelled and Rosemary and Wendy and I know you went some 
through some trials and tribulations with bamboo. It's kind of an interesting story how the two of you were sort of meant to be star-crossed lovers in a way. <laughs> how was that? It is true, isn't it? Well, my, my best friend who's at Ashland who got me there said, you know, Rosemary is also at another place giving lessons. And that's what you really want to do is ride a couple times a week. And Rosemary, call Rosemary. So I started lessons with Rosemary and really learning a lot of the real taking a regular lesson basis, uh, lessons on a regular basis rather. And Rosemary had me on bamboo and a second or third time I said, you know, maybe a big stride, he's big, it's a little hard to get to move sometime. And she said, that's the horse, you're riding him, you're a perfect match. And I was, oh, okay, well, I did fall in love with him. I, I, I really, he started getting me, I got him, and we just were working so well together. And people would comment, gee, he doesn't do that for other people, and gosh, you, you seem to understand what he's thinking. And well, then he sold. Yeah. And we were going away on vacation. And it was the most miserable trip for my husband because I probably cried every day. And we were <laughs> on a really nice trip. And I came home and I texted Rosemary and said, I can come for a lesson. And she said, well, guess what? You'll be riding bamboo. Wow. I was hyperventilating. I'm crying. I called my husband and he said, just lease him. Just, just lease him. Just get him done. He's yours. So we did that. And through the owners of Palm Stables and here, I can lease him and ride and get back into riding and showing again, which I never dreamed I would do again. So Rob, that's the dream. I never thought I would do any of that again. Well, that's a great horse story. <laughs> well, thank you. And I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. They feel like it's out of reach or just they can't fit it into their schedule. And I found a place where I can do it all. And I'm so grateful. Well, Roxanne, thanks for taking the time with us. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for letting me share my story because it means so much to me to be back doing this again because I think a lot of us have that gene in us that we're, it's in our DNA. Yeah. And when we're not doing it, we, don't, we just say, oh, it's not there anymore, but we, we don't realize how badly we miss it until we start it again, and then it will never leave me. Great. Thanks again. Thank you. At Palm Stables with Roxanne Stein. This is Rob Jordan.